since 2016 Squid tell me one fix You know that's my sister When she speak I live Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to show you guys this look. As you know, I love some highlighted wigs. So Beauty Forever decided to send me over this wig. And this is also going to be a giveaway. So I am going to be giving away this wig and all of these goodies that they put in this bag. This month, I'm giving away all the wigs. So make sure you guys leave your comments down below to be entered. It's as simple as that. Just leave your comment and you'll be entered into the giveaway. It's going to come with these bands, this wig grip lashes i'm giving you guys everything that comes in the packaging so yeah two wig caps and yeah so i'm starting off by putting my edges back people be asking me how i still have my edges and i wear wigs like almost every day i literally make sure i put the edges back if you don't pull them back then they're gonna get stuck in the um glue and all these things and then it can um fall out so make sure you're brushing your edges back and putting it out of the way that's very important so you can keep your edges i'm wiping my skin down with some alcohol to make sure there's no oils after i put that edge control and then i'm putting the wig on my head this is important for me i tell you guys this all the time i like to make sure that i can see the way that it's gonna lay before i start laying it once i cut off my ear tabs i'm gonna clip the lace out of the way and i'm gonna start spraying down my ebon lace spray i love this thing so much so I apply four different layers and I make sure that it's tacky every single time. Absolutely love this product. I recommend if you don't want to use glue, you guys try this out. You, it will definitely change your life. And then once it's tacky, I'm going to go ahead and put the lace down into the adhesive and use my comb to press it in. And you can go in with your blow dryer if you feel like it's not tacky enough, but... I didn't feel like doing that, so I'm just going to tie it down for about 10 minutes and then blow dry it for a little while. And then you should get something like this. And at this point, you're going to cut off the lace. Cut the lace off. And then I'm using my Ruby Kisses two-sided foundation in the color 14 to get rid of any cast looking thing. And I'm using my same ebon spray to seal off the edges. If I have any little lifted areas, I'm going to use this to seal it off and make it look good. I'm tying it down with an elastic band and then you should get something like this. Super pretty. And now it's time for edges. Guys, this is so freaking simple. Like you don't even understand. You literally could do this in about 20 minutes tops. So if it looks like it's simple, it's because it is. So yeah, I'm just measuring my eyebrow area and taking out the baby hairs how I want it to. And this is very self-explanatory. So I'm just coming to show you guys this wig. If you're interested, make sure you check out my description box. I'm going to leave the video to play out and then I'm going to talk to you guys at the end of the video.
you guys at this point of the video it's like the next day or like the next two days and i end up just leaking out the roots of the hair because i wanted it to look more natural so i'm using some care care wax stick and i'm flattening it flattening it out with my hot comb and you could definitely see the difference from that side and the other side it just looks more seamless it looks more good more professional i really love that so i'm just gonna do that to the other side and then once i was done doing my makeup i came back because i didn't know what hairstyle i wanted to do but i knew i wanted to do an updo type of style because i was tired of having the hair down and i have a lot of hair videos so i wanted to have it look different so you guys know the difference between certain wigs I took out two pieces in the front and then I took out this area right here because I wanted to slick it behind my head, behind my head. So I'm just combing it out a bit and then I'm going to comb it down and put it behind my ear so I can put it behind my head. And then once I do that, I'm going to put a hair tie at the back. And then I'm using my tiny curling iron i love this thing because then i don't have to put no water on the hair i just use this and it's look voila curled i always link my products down below so if you guys are interested in this exact curling wand curling iron i'm gonna link it down below so you guys can get it and i'm just kind of touching up the front right there and i could have left it like this this is super pretty but i didn't want to do that so i'm leaving some pieces down and i'm putting the hair into a ponytail because i'm going to use a claw clip to clip it up so just put it in a low ponytail and then pull it around and then i'm going to use a claw clip to hold it in place and while i was just sitting there i decided to curl the pieces that i took out because they're a little bit poofy and it looks so good like it looks really really good And then just curl all the little random pieces that you have in your ponytail. And I'm just going to go ahead and clip it up. And I didn't like how high it was. So I did like do trial and error putting it a little bit lower, putting it, putting it a little bit higher. But this is basically the look. I absolutely love how this turned out. I was doing different areas of putting the hair but i actually love it being right here it just looks so freaking cute and just simple and it just looks so adorable don't forget to check out beauty forever hair i will have the links down below if you guys are interested in this wig and if you guys are interested in winning this wig don't forget to leave me a comment down below i want to see some brown hearts in the comment and i'll know that you guys got to this far in the video i absolutely love how this just looks nice so yeah clean. let me know if you guys are going to try out Pretty. this hairstyle and if you are don't forget to like this video and I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye!